Hello everyone, this is Ted Williams here with TedWilliamsIII.com. Everyone is talking about the NFL, they're talking about protests, they're talking about the president's response, so let's talk about it too. In 1931, President Hoover made the Star Spangled Banner the official anthem of the United States. After World War II, that anthem began to be played consistently at sporting events, but interestingly enough, prior to 2009, it was not customary that all teams would actually come out during the national anthem. Many teams chose to stay. and. Post-2009, it became more customary that teams would actually come out during the national anthem. Well, what was going on? Let's talk about that as well. So 2011 to 2014, the Department of Defense spent $5.4 million for the NFL to stage patriotic ceremonies at games. Um, from 2013 to 2015, the National Guard spent $6.7 million for those same things. And so what you saw that was happening around this time in our history was that the Pentagon, this is very recent history by the way, but the Pentagon Department of Defense was really working to recruit and also to promote patriotism in the United States let's be honest, for the purposes, once again, of recruiting. And so what we find is, is that this litmus test, this patriotic test, this symbol of Americanism just is sort of a new phenomenon. Now, let me say this very clearly. I fully, fully, and I hate that I have to say this, but I will, respect our troops, respect our military, um, respect the fact that people have died so that I could have the freedoms here. And yes, every single American should always honor that. How dare we not do that? But the question is, how do we honor it? And does honoring it mean the same thing for every single person? And does Colin Kaepernick, for instance, who was sitting in protest and then began to kneel because he thought kneeling was a much more respectful way of protest, does he then become uh, some sort of demon or some sort of unpatriotic, ungrateful American if he does not stand for the national anthem? I would suggest, ladies and gentlemen, that if we get into symbolic methods of proving our Americanism, I think that is a problem. I would suggest, as the president did, now this is kind of crazy, but the president said that if somebody disrespects a symbol of American pride, they should be fired. Well, maybe the White House is being disrespected right now. Maybe the seal of the presidency is being disrespected when you have someone in the position of authority and power that he's in, but uses his bully pulpit to make these crazy incendiary, vulgar, profane statements about people when there are so many other issues in the world to deal with and he calls NFL players SOBs because they do not stand for the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ridiculous. It's beyond the pale. It is unacceptable. It is time for all of us to make a decision about what we will and will not tolerate in this great country that we live in. Yes, I am very proud to be in this country, but I also understand our country has a mixed history. We have great ideals on paper, and those ideals are real for some, but they are far from being real for all of us until we get to that place. Yes, Colin Kaepernick and other people have the right to protest. If you think about it, last week there were only 10 players protesting. When the president got engaged, there were now there are now 200 players who either did not stand or they, they knelt or they sat down during the national anthem. This thing has grown. It's becoming a movement. But I am one who believes, number one, that America is a great place. We have to make it great again. I don't know what time, age we're looking back at, 1960, 1950, 1930, 1850, making America great again. Let's make it greater than it is right now, number one, because we do have freedom. But the number two, the most important part, is this freedom means that we are free to protest. We are free to speak, and we are free not to be apathetic. I can tell you that as someone who has watched sports for many years, I'm actually happy that athletes are engaging in protest. For many years, I saw apathy. I saw people who did not necessarily care about anything but making money. And so now they're putting their own careers and their own livelihoods on the line to step forward. Kudos to them. I remember back in 1996, there was an NBA player who set for the national anthem because of his religious beliefs. Ladies and gentlemen, that's in the First Amendment. The First Amendment protects the freedom of religion, the freedom of speech, the freedom of press, the freedom of assembly, and the freedom of petition. And those things must be supported in this country. Yes, these athletes are doing something that probably offends some people. And I get that. And I understand how there are people who feel very um, connected to this notion of patriotism by 
honoring the flag and honoring the Star Spangled Banner. I get that and I do respect that. But I also respect someone's ability to peacefully protest, not burn the flag, not uh, make profane statements during the national anthem, uh, et cetera, et cetera, but take a knee in support of people who are marginalized in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a scary time if that cannot happen. Those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.